this is what a king setup looks like. <clears throat> Start off over here. That is obviously a sand spike for a surf fish. Okay. Some piers uh, in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, if they allow you to put out a king rig or otherwise known as a pin rig, trolley rig, whatever, they some of them have pipes and set up slots to fish. And they'll be numbered and some of them have guidelines to throw on, some of them don't. top here you put your fighting rod through and it opens and closes once it's got tension on it, it stays closed but that's a key thing to have they're about 50 bucks and they're well worth it if in my opinion but a sand spike with bungee cords probably three two or three even four maybe and a dog leash a uh, dog leash you will need to uh, tie that to the rail and clip it on to your fighting rod Okay, moving on, this right here is my bait rod. That is seven foot, medium action, fast, <clears throat> medium, medium weight, fast action rod. It's paired with a 4,000 size reel and a gotcha plug. Gotcha plugs can get you anything from ribbon fish to blues to Spanish. I've even seen some speckled trout caught on them. But that'd be a bait rod. It's a good Spanish rod too. Moving on. This one right here is your anchor rod. Anchor rod is all about preference. Uh, so is the bait rod, and so is the rod holding and all that other stuff. But a lot of this goes into preference. But we'll 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 just get into the basics here. as well these are king anchors or, or pier anchors surf anchors whatever you want to call them but they have some of them have four wires five wires six wires so on and so forth this is a four wire model it's five and a half ounces um, you can pick these up at some of the saltwater tackle stores some people make them but all these four wires they'll get bent out this way and then you bend another part of the leg up this way so you're gonna bend them this way and make a 90 and you tie this on to this rod and this line and you just chuck the living crap out of it get it out as far as you can and once that's out there you That you can think of that like a trolley. That's your trolley's main line. But moving on, uh, this is a good fighting rig. It's a good boat rod. That's a pin six alt. Now six alt might be a little bit of overkill due to the fact that uh, it's just a really big uh, reel. Uh, trust me when I say you don't need 700 yards of 50 pound monofilament. You really don't. But if you can get a reel that holds at least 
350, 400 yards of 30 pound mono, you're good to go. Uh, I know people that personally fish with 12 pound monofilament uh, for kings, and, and they've done well. But uh, the next thing you need to know is your king rig. Now, king rig is another thing that goes down to preference. Some people use uh, braided cables, and a lot of us use single strand hard wire, like mailing or American fishing wire. But basically, it's just hook, treble hooks that are haywire twisted together. You have to look that knot up because I don't have much time to show you that knot. But these are number four trebles, 3X strong. I don't suggest going anything under 2X strong. But yeah, this is a mainly hard wire single strand. This is 56 breaking strand, I think. But again, that's all preference. But you don't want too heavy. If you get too heavy in line, the king or whatever is going after your bait, we'll see it. And uh, you want a live bait, something like a bluefish, lizard fish, ribbon fish, uh, the manhaden, uh, mullet, anything like that. As long as it's live and it's kicking. But I'd say it's about six, six and a half feet of it, and you have a swivel at the top. And now you tie this into your fighting rod here. And your fighting rod goes into that thing over there. This is called a pop-off. Some people use pop-off, some people use a thing called a pin rig. Pin rig's a monofilament, a weight, a clothes pin, and a rubber band. But I use a pop-off. And how this works is that a swivel once it's tied on to the, the fighting line, you'll take the pop off two wires that come out the top. You'll pinch them together, like so, and then I turn to this one hand, it sucks. Then you'll slide them through the barrel swivel like that. And now that's on there. And you take this clip and you clip it on to the tight anchor line. Remember, that's the line that's stuck on the bottom and has a lot of tension to it. But you clip this on, put your live bait down there where the hooks are, put that in the free spool, put this in the metal rod holder where it's going out to sea like this, and you put your anchor rod in the sand spike going straight up and down on the rail and you let it slide down until this is about a foot, two foot above the water. You don't want this in the water because a king can jump over your anchor line and then you're in trouble because you want to either one cut your anchor line or hope you or hope you uh, or hope you can fix it. But that's a king rig. That's all you need. Uh, other than that, I don't know. But like, like I said before, it's all about preference. I mean, this rig, this setup right here, you know, it's, it's going to cost you, if you can even find a 6 alt wide, if you wanted one. I wouldn't say do anything under a 4 alt. But if you can find a king rig, if you can make something up like this, this rig would probably cost you about close to two grand maybe seventeen hundred now like I said it's all preference you can you can sure as hell go out and buy you a pin nine number nine and a pin three oh nine and just go fishing to heck just go fishing you know those two reels alone won't cost you over a hundred bucks uh, but you can have cheap Shakespeare rods and stuff like that. It'll catch fish. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as you take care of it, it'll stay good for you. But it's all about preference. I prefer, you know, conventional stuff over spinning stuff. You know, my only reason why my spinning is easier to jig with. You know, that's for Spanish blues and ribbon fish, and bait rod pretty much. And uh, grass shed. Oh, grass shed, you can put a lot of grass shed on this too. And uh, it'll usually produce pretty good fish. You know, Spanish will hit it. 
Uh, Big Blues will hit it. Kings will hit it. Tarpons will hit it. But anything live going down there with, with lots of flash and, and uh, liveliness to them, they do real good. But yeah, that's basically a king rig. That is my king rig. That's not my preferred rod and reel, fighting rod and reel, but uh, my reel was being maintained having some maintenance done to it so it's not here but the rod is, the rod's over there that's in that blue sock but yep I hope y'all enjoy, like, comment, share uh, subscribe and uh, let me know what you think for future videos give me suggestions um, I might start doing recordings on the pier I've already got my video of my tarpon on the on the uh, YouTube so, uh, this is all for now. Y'all have a nice day now.